Hey old soul, just over a year ago I sold everything I owned and moved to the land of Bali with my ex-husband and three kids. Now I live my dream life, traveling first class around the world, teaching others how to do the same. If you are ready for a life that is so abundant and free, where money flows like air so effortlessly that you don't even care because you are simply focusing on you and allowing everything to be true, then you are exactly where you need to be. Let me teach you how to be wildly abundant and insanely free. Good afternoon, good afternoon from the beautiful land of sunny Bali. <laughs> it is a really, 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 really beautiful day to be alive. And I just want you to take a moment to really feel that. Feel the air in your lungs. <laughs> and just take a moment to just feel gratitude, like there are so many souls that are waiting to be born that cannot get onto this planet because because earth school is so crazy and there's so many people that live every day like it's not enough like they wish that there was more like they're not truly really living and relishing how blessed you are to even have air in your lungs when you can just be okay that you have air in your lungs, miracles will never stop flowing because you're grateful for the gift of life. And life will always support those that support life. The thing that we've been talking about a lot lately in my containers and with my clients has really been about this notion of value and how we see the world is truly how we experience the world. So for example, if I was to get you to all close your eyes right now and just think of everything in the room that is green, and then you would open your eyes and you would look all around the room and try to find everything that was green. You would even see things that are semi-green that are not fully green and you would coin them as being green because that's how badly your mind wants to prove the theory that there are things in the room that are green. Then you do the same process with things that are red, things that are blue, you close your eyes and you find them and you start to see them everywhere because that's what you're focused on. That's what you're attuned to. When you were born and you were a baby, and you were put on the floor and there were lots of different toys around you, your baby self, the, the unconditioned state, and you know why everyone wants to pick up babies? Because they feel so pure, they feel so clean, their energy just feels so divine because they haven't been conditioned yet. They haven't been told what to think, they haven't placed any dissonance on anything in this physical reality. So babies are playing with toys with an equal level of importance until someone goes to pick up a toy and then it's like, oh, I want that back because our ego starts to come into play. And the ego really is the, the piece that creates the illusion of separation and shows us that we need to be safe. And so we're going through our life and the ego is really just meant to be on our side, allowing us to navigate through this world so that we know if something's poisonous, if something is dangerous, like a saber-toothed tiger. But now we live in a world that is really, really, really relatively safe. And we are all still operating from a default programming of ego, which is in fear, lack, and scarcity. And it's really important that we come back to our soul, we come back to the truth, we come back to this beautiful, abundant baby self and realize that all toys are relative, everything is the same, until we, us, the storyteller, the director, the protagonist, the, the everything in the story that we're creating for our life dictates how much value everything has 
therefore creates more of an illusion of separation. For example, if I'm to say that this toy is really, really, really valuable, and I don't see myself as being as valuable as that toy. God, I'm getting something interesting coming through right now. And I don't see myself as valuable as that toy. Then I may reject the toy because I'm like, well, I'm not enough to play with that toy. I need to be better to play with that toy. Now, here's the thing about our reality. When we start to evolve and we raise our consciousness, we start to realize that we are the power plant. We are the source that sees everything in our physical reality. And so we start to see ourselves as more powerful as the reality, as we are the creator and we are not this insignificant piece in the reality where the million dollars is outside of us and it's worth more than us. The big dream home is outside of us and worth more than us. It's we are the creator that gets to see whatever we desire to see and magnetize it into our reality based on how we're vibrating so that we can see and morph those shapes and colors so we can bring it into our reality. So, and we have to understand this with our ego because our mind will never attract something that we think is bigger than us or outside of us. If we think something is more than us and worth more than us and bigger than us, the ego will always sabotage that from manifesting because the ego's job is to keep you safe. And if it deems the million dollars or the big house as being more than you, then the ego is going to keep pushing it away because its job is to keep you safe, keep you whole. So if you are absolutely ready to step into your power, claim back your truth, claim back your sovereignty, claim back all that you are, definitely check out the Kundalini activation sessions. They're very, very, very powerful, but please do not book in a session without checking with your intuition. It's so important that you check in with your intuition because these are massive life changes. Same thing as the Bali retreat coming up on the 14th to the 18th of October. I only have a few spots left. If you are feeling the call to come to Bali, then I invite you to come and join me in this beautiful, deep, 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 deep transformation. It is going to be life-changing and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to hold the space for you. Um, so just DM Bali and I'll send you details on that. I see you. I love you. Have the most beautiful, magical, phenomenal day. Let miracles be on your way through this time of transition. This is a great time of transition coming up, especially as we move into the solar eclipse. There are huge shifts, huge changes, and believe me, I can feel it. I have three mutable star signs, so this is definitely affecting me a lot, but in a really, 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 really beautiful way. Get ready for change. Life as you know it will not most likely not be the same in a few weeks and everything's going to be looking very, 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 very different. Big love, wealthy old souls. Have a beautiful, powerful, phenomenal day and let many miracles be on your way. Mwah. Big love.